Hey guys, welcome to The Bite. I'm Super Steve. And I'm Alexander Melendez. And we're here to give you this week's best stories, tidbits, and just even bites of the news around us. As most of you guys know, this week is Halloween. Woo! Depending on when this video is uploaded, editor, you better get yourself together. This needs to go up on Halloween. Try it. Okay. This week we brought in some spooky news floating around that target the world's fears. Maybe these stories will give you a bit of real life fright. Ooh, have you ever feared the thought of presidential candidates winning the country over and serving as its leader despite not having any experience? Are you talking about Donald Trump again? No, not yet at least. Nope. This headline will hopefully not happen here in the good old US of A, because at least in Guatemala, they just elected a comedian with zero political experience to be its president. You're joking, right? No, not at all. Jimmy Morales, a television comedian with no political experience and no real policy platform, just won the Guatemalan presidency with 70% of the votes. Despite what you might believe about Morales' lack of political experience, his slogan of, not corrupt, not a thief, is what I think we need over here in the States as well. Well, don't get your hopes up too soon, as we still got Donald Trump leading the polls still. Yeah, but uh, didn't you hear the Trump fear is coming to a close now, because we got our old colonizer rivals to come up uh, and uh, help us. <laughs> for the top, for the top. Yeah, but didn't you hear? Uh, the Trump fear is coming to a close now because we got our old Brit. La 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 la. No, I'm getting tongue twisted. La 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 la. La la la. British colonizers. Yeah, but uh, didn't you hear? The Trump fear is coming to a close now because we got our old colonizer rivals to come help us out as British soldiers were spotted in Washington saying how they are there to save the U.S. from Donald Trump. That's right, a group of 12 British soldiers marched up Capitol Hill and proclaimed their stance against the Trump. That's interesting to see here, uh, how after 200 years, the British don't care about the rebellious little child. Yeah, well, parents never stop caring now, do they? No, I guess not. Well, we got one last story that is the definition of terror. Everyone's now favorite food, bacon, causes cancer? Hey, 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 hey now, watch them out. Let me talk about my pig skin. All right, I'll try not to. Well, initial reports claim how eating bacon was equated to cause cancer growth just as smoking a single cigarette. Now, as of this recording, the viral headlines have stopped and the real science behind the World Health Organization study is that while smoking increases cancer risk by 2,000%, but eating bacon will only contribute to 18% risk. So I can still have bacon with my eggs in it. Oh yeah. Yes, you can. Bacon for you, bacon for me, bacon for everyone. Now that's a platform we should run. Like it, like that. Mm -hmm. Right, with that said, that's it for this week's bite. If you like the video, please be sure to like and subscribe to the Corsair online for more videos like this. Let us know in the comment section below if they're gonna binge eat some bacon. Or rally with the British against Trump. I mean, whatever. I'll stand firm. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye. He told, no, 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 in the beginning, because I saw him motion me, I was looking at him, I was like, oh, let me get back. Okay. Oh. In five, four, three, two. Oh, I'm going first? Yeah, oh. you're going first. <laughs>